All right, so we're gonna do a quick recap of the fight last night. Um, just don't mind Daniel in the background. We just ordered pho, and he's probably gonna say some really stupid shit. So just don't don't mind him. And then Jake might might walk by as well. Um, so obviously I was couldn't have possibly been more wrong about the fight last night. I mean that was just a complete destruction. Um, good up on Khabib. In my defense, and Daniel picked Connor as well, in our defense, um, we had absolutely no way of knowing that Connor was gonna show up just blatantly out of shape. Um, and with what appears to be little to no game plan um, beyond just loading up on the fucking straight left hand. So, um, I mean, Khabib just mauled him. I mean, that wasn't even, that wasn't even a competitive, I wouldn't even call it a fight. That was just, that was embarrassing, quite frankly. Um, Obviously, the, the aftermath of the fight was, was just ridiculous. I'm not even going to touch on that because it's just, it's just too sensitive of a subject. What I do want to talk about, though, is, and, and we had great, uh, we discussed this at great lengths last night. So, we're literally talking about the biggest pay-per-view in UFC history, the biggest fight in UFC history, Conor vs. Khabib. And three fighters, Derek Lewis, Ovin St. Peru, and Conor McGregor showed up blatantly out of shape. No gas. Blatantly out of shape. No I, I've gas. never seen anything like it. Um, now, I will say, I, I love Derek Lewis. I love watching Derek Lewis fight. The guy can fucking crack like nobody's business. I mean, I'll watch him fight any day, but brother, you gotta fucking show up in some sort of condition, bro. I mean, that was just. The guy, I mean, Derek, you were you were gassed after two minutes, and I mean, you even said it seconds, after the fight. Sorry. Forty-five seconds. Forty-five, 45 seconds. seconds. I mean, he even said it after the fight. I mean, that was just awful. Um, not a huge fan of Sam Peru, never have been, and he kind of got what he deserved there. I mean, he was he was blatantly out of shape as well, and it's just on this level, it's just shocking to me that these guys show up out of shape. Connor, blatantly out of shape. The guy's never had a great, great gas tank. I'm a huge Connor fan. Never had a great gas tank. Cardio's never been his thing, but even for him, he was blatantly out of shape. I mean, in the, in the middle of the first round, I mean, he did get laid on a lot, but I mean, he, he, had, he had nothing in the tank. And even on the feet, he got fucking dominated. I mean, it was just a, it was just a piss poor performance. I mean, bro, you're one of the greatest strikers in UFC history, and, and this pawing jab, bro, I mean, it's, it's almost disrespectful to, to how good of a striker you are. Like, put a fucking one two together man throw the jab like I, I he was just loading up on that straight left hand and it was so blatant and obvious and at this level dude that's it's just not gonna it's just not gonna get the job done at least against guys your size and guys Khabib's level but anyways um so like I said I was I was completely wrong about the outcome of the fight but um what was more disappointing was was the shape that, that those three guys came in um quite the contrary Fucking Tony Ferguson, I think that guy could fight 30 fucking rounds. I mean, his cardio, that's that's what an MMA fighter's cardio should look like. I mean, props to you, brother. You came off a really hard injury to come back from in what? What was it, five months, Danny came back? Six months? Five months. And, bro, you just look like a destroyer. And I love Anthony Pettis. Great fighter, great striker. But... But Ferguson was just too much, just way too much. I mean, that's what cardio looks like. And uh, coming from a guy who does zero cardio, but Derek, get get your big ass on the treadmill, bro. Because I want to see you fight for a title because you are great. Lay off the fucking Postmates, you know what I mean, brother? Because we want to see you fight for a title, but you got it. You gotta have something in the tank, my dude. You wanna get some Postmates? Get some delicious pho. Yeah, just Daniel's like, um, Connor, I don't get back in the ring with Khabib, dude. That's not your thing. I think you probably will, but don't do it. Um, and if you do, for for the love of God, come in in some sort of shape and a fucking decent game plan, my man. I love you, but that that was bad, dude. Um, and then Ovin St. Peru, I, I quite frankly don't care what you do. I, I could really never watch you fight again. But. Connor, I gave you my fucking heart. I gave you my soul. I went and bought your whiskey. You got two bottles of Proper 12 in the building. We did have and a lot of got, Proper 12 last night. You laid a goose egg, I, Connor, I think you might have had a little bit too much Proper 12 mad. before the fight. I'm not mad. I'm a I'm little disappointed. mad. I'm disappointed. I'm very disappointed. Work. Anyway, so that's that's our recap. Um, guys... Get in fucking shape. Hey, Biggest pay per view in UFC history. And three guys show up blatantly out of shape. I, I just don't fucking really quick, Can we also talk about Michelle Waterson? Beast. Like a Absolute beast. Dunker? But I actually thought that 
Did you think she won that fight definitively? Absolutely. You thought definitively? Was, it was a good, good scrap, fight. dude. Anyway, she's a beast, and she's actually pretty fucking cute too. And that um, ass, though. Th Excuse all right, me, we're gonna we're gonna end this now. He's dangerous.